why did I choose to go on to ketogenic diet? So I touched on this a little bit in my last two videos, but I wanted to have another one as part of the series because every single time, and I mean every single time, I talk to somebody at work generally, somebody brings in food, and there's this awkward part where I have to be like, so I don't eat that. And then everybody looks at me like, oh, this skinny bitch. And some people have said that kind of stuff to me. Like, oh, you need to put some fat in your bones. You need to eat this cookie with me. Or you need to eat these potatoes. Or here, have a donut. And I'm just like, and they're like, gosh, I could never do that. I could never give up my carbs. And I'm over here like, do you think I'm superhuman? Do you think that I don't love me some in and out? I mean, come on. McDonald's was my thing. Yes. And how gross that is. McDonald's with me was like this. This. Yes. Chicken nuggets. The Big Mac. Oh, yes. Del Taco. Del Taco. We broke up. Anyways. So, like, everybody's like, oh, you're so deprived. Blah, blah. I can never like that. I am not superhuman. Like, I am one of those people who is kind of, not kind of, I'm completely impulsive. I'm driven by my whims, by random things that I feel like doing. I eat what I feel like eating, and that was healthy. I eat what I want when I want it, and that's kind of how I live my life. Like, I am not good at being super structured and impulse control. Like, that's all James. James is real good at that. That's a balance in this relationship. But to me, I'm like, Psh. So when somebody thinks that I live like a restricted diet, I'm like, you can do what I can do. You can get off the carbs. First of all, though, when you get off of the carbs, it's going to feel like withdrawals. It's, people call it keto flu. It's withdrawals. Your body legitimately like uses that to store fuel and I mean, uses it as fuel and it doesn't like not having its fuel source. It's going to fight you. It's going to make you feel sick. It's not going to feel good. Plus it affects that pretty brain. That's a pleasure center. Same as drugs do. So you legitimately go through a flu-like, withdrawal-like part of your whole diet thing. I had it really bad. I was really addicted to carbs. I ate top ramen. I ate Cheez-Its. I ate microwave burritos. I lived off of mac and cheese from the box. Ew. And, you know, McDonald's. <laughs> the dollar menu. And I had huge, horrific, awful, awful health issues. I had depression. I had anxiety. I could barely get to bed. I had low energy. My skin was crap. I had like this rash going down my face and it was itchy and ugly and gross and I couldn't wear makeup because it made it worse. And I had hemorrhoids and I had constipation and I had all these gross things that people don't talk about because you're like, oh, you're a girl. You're not supposed to do that stuff. Well, it's a lie. <laughs> I can't even, sorry, I get like on this ranch. So I chose this diet because it is helpful for your brain and it is helpful for your gut and it is helpful for muscle growth and it is helpful for weight loss. And it's helpful for energy and it's helpful for sleep and it makes it so your life is freaking better. <laughs> and it satiates all my cravings because I was one of those people like felt punished on a diet. I felt bad on a diet. I felt like a terrible human being if I ate a damn cupcake. So now I just make it out of almond flour and eggs. Yeah, eggs is another fat source. I should have put that in the other video. I just have to watch them all. So there is a satiated delicious feeling and if you use stevia instead of sugar you can get the sweets that you are craving you can make your own chocolate and I promise you like it's going to be better for you because it doesn't have to be shelf stable one of my friends is a was a food scientist and she told me this stuff and I was like no wonder we're sick they have to make it shelf stable so they have to put preservatives in it because you want the convenience of it in your freaking pantry and then you get sick and then you get mad at them for making it and it's like no, no, no just make it yourself you don't have to blame people <laughs> And if you really want to think about it from another perspective, like if you're cooking your own food, how many calories are you burning in your kitchen so you don't have to drive to the gym and go work out? Or if you don't have a home gym like I do because I'm lazy and don't want to drive to the gym. So you just, you you walk in circles in your kitchen. You go to the fridge, you bend down. Hey, there's a squat. Or maybe do a lunch to get the pot to cook it or whatever. And like how many times do you move? So not only are you feeding your body with better, healthier foods, you're moving your body more, which is better for you, which is also better for your brain and anxiety and depression. Would you stop ruining my shirt, Nibbler? She's just purring in my lap and destroying things. So, rant over. Why did I choose this? Because I wanted to feel good. Because I wanted to be happy. Because I wanted to like the food that I was eating. Because I didn't want cravings. Because I didn't want my butt bleeding. Because I wanted to look forward to what I was going to eat. Because I wanted sweets. Because I wanted bacon. Because I wanted cheese. Because I wanted all those things that somebody told me was unhealthy. And now somebody told me they were. And so I make it freaking work. I made homemade noodles and mac and cheese because I was craving it out of the box and I will tell you oh my gosh okay I'm gonna stop rambling can you tell my pre-workout totally didn't burn off but 
if you want more fit tips and you want to know more about me and you want to see cute animals and you just want to know more about me and the weirdness of life, please watch my Snapchat. It's hunting for healthy. If you want to see more healthy fit nutrition tips, you can go on Facebook if that's your forte. Um, same thing, hunting for healthy, or if you like Instagram. So I'm on all social media platforms. So whatever you like, you have access to. Obviously, I'm here weekly and I'll more if I can be. You know, the life happens. And I hope you enjoyed this rant of a video. I'm going to go hit the subscribe button.